It's been almost a year. We've had COVID-19 in our lives and, um, well, perhaps you're burned out. <laughs> Just a little bit. How do you combat COVID-19 <laughs> burnout? Number one, reroute your brain. Um, best way is to get unstuck is to reframe your thinking. Okay. Um, while there are so many circumstances that are beyond your control and can't be changed, your reaction to them can be. All right. First, instead of thinking, why me? Think, why not me? Planting the seed of positivity can, in this case, be a game changer. Number two, protect your sleep. All right. Um, increased risk of depression, irritability, being stressed, anxiety, burnout. Uh, this all comes from lack of sleep. Get your sleep. Establish a routine or pattern that uh, programs your wake sleep cycle. So go to go to bed about the same same time every night. Wake up at the same same time of day, uh, and you'll find that um, when you don't have alarm set, you can do it pretty much. Well, and. Regular. Part of that, I will say honestly, too, is routine is good. It trains your body. It trains your mindset. So then if you do have a random day where you're tired here and there, mm -hmm. it's a day. It's a speed bump. It's not a huge pothole that you're now stuck in. Three, take all your vacation days. Half Americans don't use all of theirs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and and then when you are on vacation, I know, you're emailing, you're working in some capacity, and they say, <sighs> Lockdown vacations, can't really go anywhere. Okay, but take a break from laundry, cooking, your kids or your spouse if you have to. Oh, hey. I'm, take a break. Sign me up. Lock lock <laughs> yourself away for a day. Uh, unplug like you're on a plane. No no Wi-Fi, no phone. Hey, but here's the give reality me, give on me some a plane, time even alone. though you can still be on your device, just right. get away Plan. from the work part of it. Get onto like the social yeah. media or games or something right. else or or download a, a book or something. Um, the, you can be on your device. Just re reroute what you're doing right. on your, your devices. Um, yeah. Be hard on boundaries because our boundaries have become blurry with working from home and kids doing school from home. You're, you, you've got to create spaces where all this takes place. Well, not only spaces not physically, together. but mentally, because, you know, yes. if you're working from home, then you find yourself working at 11 at night and then your brain doesn't go off at bedtime because your home office is now your new office. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you're always on the clock. And if you don't be careful, you are. And lastly, build a village, not an island. Um, get support. Go to, uh, go to babysitter, a friend or a pal who can help out with carpools, whatever it may be. Someone there for you when you need them to talk to uh, because uh, parents with who come to kids are kind of stressed out these days. Um, and they said to make shameless pleas for help. After all, we seriously underestimate how willing people are to pitch in. So if you need help, want help with something, can somebody do this for me? You'd be surprised that people are out there and part of your friend circle who will help you out. And if you think about it, if you're one who doesn't ever ask, number one, you probably need it the most because you don't ask. And number two, you probably don't even realize how much you've done for other people. So if you mm -hmm. call the audible and say, I need help, you might be amazed how many hands go up to help you because you always help them and you've never asked for it. So they know if you're finally saying you need it, you need it. Get more info about COVID burnout, how to beat COVID burnout right now. Yes, FM, Facebook, Twitter at 967. Yes, FM and the Mercy Money page at yesfm.com.